All right. Okay. So it's it's on. So I'm on. Okay. So since we are in the GCQ na naman ulit, and uh, uh, I think na uh, siguro magkaroon na mga ilang weeks na mawalan tayo ng, ng gatherings dito sa simbahan. So I may some messages uh, pwede nating matutunan. And I'm, hope, uh, I'm hopeful na ito yung uh, makapagbigay sa atin ng inspiration. And uh, ganun na rin, evaluation sa ating sarili kung saan na ba tayo spiritually if we are moving forward sa ating sa ating uh, kalusugan ng ating uh, ating kaluluwa but since we are discussing kalusugan so the topic that I would like to open is uh, uh, related sa program ng Simban which is found in Count Palomi uh, Count Palomi uh, Doctrine and Covenants section 89 to 92 but actually I cannot uh, discuss the whole sections, so ang gagawin po natin is I will, I will uh, use one section, yung section 89, which is specifically regarding about the word of wisdom. So it's it's the Lord's law of health. So kasi health yung, yung uh, uh, tinatawag natin dito, yung ating inaalagaan para, para makapagpatuloy tayo sa paglingkod sa kanya spiritually. So, physically, if we are not able, so hindi tayo capable na makagawa sa kanya mga gawain. So, that's why we have to take good care of our, of our body. So, I would share this screen and uh, I don't know if if it's working, no? Kung, kung gumagana kasi hindi ako hindi ako kabisado sa tinatawag nitong itong uh, video editing or something no so hindi hindi ako hindi ako magaling sa sa pagbi-video video so actually ilang videos lang nagawa ko yung last time nagkaroon ng is uh, ECQ GCQ so uh, may mga times na nire-record ko na lang sa cellphone so kasi hindi ko ganun kagaling sa pag uh, paggawa ng ganitong klase na video so ngayon ako uh, i-share ko yung uh, screen and let's see if if it's working so maganda so kung hindi uh, let's let's ano na lang tingnan na lang natin po ano nangyari okay so so here's the topic that I would like to share which is tingnan ko nga uh, brethren if brethren and sisters if it's working if it's not I don't know kailangan okay nag-stop po siya so let's see so if it's nag-stop so ang gagawin natin so i-post ko muna yung video sa glit and then let's open it again uh, second time and and let's start all over again sorry all right sige so nakapagpatuloy tayo so i'm working on it so tingnan natin kung paano to so the topic we have to discuss or i am about to discuss to you today uh brothers and sisters is a nanjan po siya sa pangpalumi program sa simbahan which is found in doctrine and covenant section 89 to 92 but actually the the principles or the sections na gusto kong i-share is isang section lang which is found in uh, the uh, doctrine and covenant section 89 so, ang pamagat nito is a principle with promise. And this section is specifically nagturo sa atin in regards about the Lord's law of health. So, let's 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 talk about some of it and uh, continue po natin. First is uh, the the questions. Now, what benefits we could get in receiving instructions? So, ano mga benefits na magiget makukuha natin? kung tayo ay makatanggap ng mga instructions. The second question is, what if certain instructions are sometimes taking over our desires and choices? So, ito ang mahirap na part. Kasi minsan may mga instructions na masasabi natin na parang hindi pa yata para sa atin. O minsan parang masasabi natin na parang uh, wala na yata akong karapatan, wala na yata akong kalayaan. No? Parang ang choices ko uh, na, na ano na, parang nagamit na <laughs> or parang sabihin natin ganun. So so this these two questions we will uh, answer that siguro no ma ma, ma tackle natin dito sa sa ating 
sa ating matutunan ngayon. Okay, so what is what is the word of wisdom? So uh, the revelation in section 89, specifically this section 89, is the revelation na natanggap ni Joseph Smith uh, doon sa Kirk Plano Ohio on February 27, 1833. Sabi dito, as a consequence of the early brethren using tobacco in their meetings, the prophet was led to ponder upon the matter. Consequently, consequently, he inquired of the Lord concerning it. This revelation, known as the word of wisdom, was the result. So ito yung, ito yung uh, tanggap ni Joseph Smith dahil noong unang panahon kasi hindi pa kasi nila masyado, wala kasi, in, well, hindi kagaya sa ating panahon ngayon, na medyo aware na tayo sa mga help natin no meron na tayong mga alam na na nakaka nakakabuti sa katawan nakakasira sa katawan sa panahon nila yung mga 1800s or mga naunang panahon hindi pa sila ganoon ka concern sa mga bagay na yun. so minsan sa meetings they're using tobacco or minsan dinudura nila yung chewing tobacco no meron silang tinatawag noon and uh, yun nga ang prophet, specifically si Ima, yung asawa ng prophet, napansin niya ito. And uh, he inquired Joseph kung ano ba ang dapat gawin para uh, sometimes uh, parang marumi yata no, sa, sa kanilang meeting. Especially sa hall, no, nagkakaroon ng mga smokes habang sila ay nag-uusap. So the revelation was given at ito yung uh, mga natatanggap niya. And that's... Uh, the whole section of uh, 89, yan po yung mga instructions na natanggap ni Joseph Smith. So hindi ko ma, ma hindi natin talakayin lahat kasi medyo medyo mahaba-haba tayong mahaba-haba yung mga discussions. So ang gagawin natin is we will uh, get those principles na ma makapagbigay sa atin ng enlightenment or inspiration kung ano ba ang dapat gagawin. Especially yung mga questions na natutunan natin, nalalaman natin kung ano ang mga mga answers. Okay? So what does this revelation teach us about Heavenly Father and His plan? So the revelation is to be sent greeting, not by commandment or constraint, but by revelation and the word of wisdom, showing forth the order and the will and will of God in the temporal salvation of all things in the last days. Section 3, or verse 3, sabi dito, given for a principle with promise, adapted to the capacity of the weak and the weakest of all saints who are or can be called saints. So mag-question tayo, tayo bakit, bakit gano'n ang pagkasabi, no? capacity of the weak and the weakest of all saints. When you remember sa uh, panahon ni Solomon, Solomon uh, was king during those times and the, the only thing na he... he uh, only thing na yung gusto niyang ma makuha lang no na ma wala kasi wala naman ang problema siya sa karian sa mga golds or mga precious things pero even though Solomon uh, hindi na masyadong wala na masyadong kinakailangan uh, sa sa buhay niya nandiyan na lahat eh. uh, still he still asked the Lord uh, yung principles na tinatawag na wisdom kasi yung wisdom yun ang nakakatulong sa kanya lalo na sa kanyang uh, pag-discern sa mga bagay na na na, na mangyari sa buhay niya or sa, sa kanyang jurisdiction during those times and if you remember may mga may dalawang babae no dalawang harlots nag-aagawan sila sa bata no kasi hindi na yung isa kasi na namatay yung kanyang anak eh, nung natulog sila then kinabukasan parang ninakaw niya yung bata so to make the story short Solomon uh, by inspiration of God, he knows exactly how to judge during those times. Alam niya kung sino ang may-ari ng bata, ma, uh, sino ang ina ng bata dahil binigyan siya ng, ng wisdom ng Panginoon kung paano mamahala during those times. And this principle also uh, was given to us in order for us to realize something or to discern which of the things, lalo na yung mga bagay na tinitake up natin sa katawan natin, ay nakabubuti ba or hindi. No? So, kaya nga tinatawag siya na word of wisdom. No? Kasi para magamit natin yung ating, ating wisdom, no? yung ating knowledge or ideas. Okay? 
So what is the word of wisdom? And here's a short video. Hindi ko alam kung mag-view natin pero pakinggan na lang natin siguro yung ano. No. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints live by a health code called the Word of Wisdom. What is the Word of Wisdom? And why do millions of Latter-day Saints around the world follow it? Let's take a closer look. The prophet Joseph Smith received the Word of Wisdom by revelation in 1833. He wrote the revelation down and canonized it in a collection of revelations called the Doctrine and Covenants, which Latter-day Saints view as scripture. The revelation is recognized by most as the reason why Latter-day Saints abstain from alcohol, tobacco, coffee, tea, and drug use. But to understand why the Word of Wisdom came about, we first need to know some historical context. The Word of Wisdom appeared at a time of intense public debate in the United States about alcohol abuse. As early as the 1810s, rapidly growing industrialization and alcohol use had begun breaking down previously held social norms. By the 1830s, many adults in the United States had been raised in families where alcoholic beverages were consumed at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Many people became concerned about the social and health consequences of increased alcohol consumption. The temperance movement grew as reformers called for abstinence from hard liquor. Many involved with the movement went further, taking a pledge against all alcoholic beverages, including beer. Some even recommended coffee as a substitute for alcohol given that clean water was not always available. At the same time, some reformers spoke out against tobacco use. It was in this social climate in the early 1830s that Joseph Smith started a series of formal classes called the School of the Prophets. This school was an assembly of church leaders who met to discuss and instruct one another in theological and secular learning, such as religion, economics, philosophy, and civic matters but the attendees frequently smoked, chewed, and spat tobacco, all in the same space where Joseph taught the school and recorded revelations. In addition, Emma Smith, Joseph's wife, was left to clean up the mess, and she was disturbed by the men's actions. She spoke to Joseph about it. Joseph inquired of the Lord and received the revelation known as the word of wisdom. The revelation helped the saints navigate many of the issues debated by reformers, and it also addressed Emma's specific concerns. For example, the Lord warned against the consumption of strong drinks, which Latter-day Saints understand to mean alcohol. Also, the Lord cautioned that hot drinks, understood as coffee and tea, were not for the belly, in other words, not to be consumed. Neither was tobacco, which was better used as an herb for sick cattle. Also at the time, some groups, like the Shakers, advised against eating meat, while other groups advocated no restrictions at all. However, in the word of wisdom, the Lord revealed that he ordained meat, both beast and fowl, for the use of man on condition that it be eaten sparingly. The word of wisdom, given in its early American context, did not specifically mention many substances that have since become common. As the world's industries began mass production of such substances, church leaders encouraged Latter-day Saints to use common sense and stay away from harmful habit-forming substances. For example, recreational drugs should be avoided while the authorized and correct use of prescription drugs is okay. In the Word of Wisdom, the Lord also warns against conspiring men with evil designs, foreshadowing a surge of substance abuse, addiction, and death. But Latter-day Saints see the Word of Wisdom as more than just a health code. Adherence to the Word of Wisdom not only teaches members how to control appetites and guard their health, it is also part of what makes them eligible for temple worship and promises spiritual benefits. Most importantly, Following the word of wisdom helps engender greater receptivity to personal revelation through the spirit of the Lord. As Boyd K. Packer, an apostle of the Lord in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, once said, A fundamental purpose of the word of wisdom has to do with revelation. If someone under the influence can hardly listen to plain talk, how can they respond to spiritual promptings that touch their most delicate feelings? As valuable as the word of wisdom is as a law of health, it may be much more valuable to you spiritually than it is physically. So let's review. What is the word of wisdom and why is it important to Latter-day Saints? The word of wisdom is a revelation. In it, the Lord promises that those who follow his guidelines will have better health. But he also promises greater happiness, wisdom, and spiritual blessings too. Most of all, the word of wisdom shows us that God loves us. 
He wants us to be healthy and spiritually receptive to his words. Now you know. All right. Okay, so thank you so much for that video. So yan yung uh, simple introductory sa, sa tinatawag natin yung Word of Wisdom. And as you can see sa video, uh, there are things na dapat natin iwasan. But in, during those times, those are some mga substances na kailangan nilang iwasan. Sa ating panahon ngayon, meron na mga ibang mga substances na na halo-halo na no? kasi may mga ingredients. Let's just say for example sa mga energy drinks, most of the energy drinks, hindi ko sinabi yung mga, ano, ah, mga alcoholic na energy drinks. Kasi for example, yung mga, may mga more on caffeine and caffeinated, no? marami. So sometimes mga substances that hinahalo ay uh, hinahalo sa mga iba't ibang mga mga iniinom ay nakakasira ito sa ating pangangatawan. So we should avoid avoid those types, no? <clears throat> to continue, brethren, sabi dito sa isang question, question is what principles can uh, can we give or can give encouragement to someone who struggles to obey the word of wisdom? Second question is, what principles can com comfort us when we have health problems despite living the word of wisdom? Now, uh, may, may kwento dito si, uh, si Dieter H. Ofdorf regarding sa, sa question na to. No? Kasi, kasi uh, may mga pangyayari na minsan hindi natin alam kung bakit ganun eh. So let's, let's continue on to, to the next slide at alamin natin. Before that, Si Boyd T. Packer, sabi niya. I have come to know that that voice of inspiration comes more as a feeling than as a sound. Young people, stay in condition to respond to inspiration. I've come to know also that a fundamental purpose of the word of wisdom has to do with revelation. From the time you are very little, we teach you to avoid tea, coffee, liquor, tobacco, narcotics, anything else that disturbs your health. If someone under the influence can hardly listen to plain talk, how can they respond to spiritual promptings that touch their most delicate feelings? As valuable as the word of wisdom is as a law of health, it may be much more valuable to you spiritually than it is physically. Okay, so that's Boyd T. Packer. Sabi niya, that the word of wisdom leads us to revelation. So that uh, the word of wisdom teaches that uh, the obedience to the word of wisdom is a vital to receive revelation. So if we don't obey the word of wisdom, May cases talaga na we could hardly receive revelation para sa ating sarili, sa ating pamilya, or even sa, sa mga tao na nangangilangan ng, ng doktrena. So hindi natin alam kung paano natin sila i-guide since we also ourselves are, hindi naman natin sinusunod. Okay? So those are the things that we come to know or come to realize that yung sa, sa question na ito, sabi dito no, the uh, principles can, can encourage someone who struggles to obey the word of wisdom is that it is a revelation. So we should not be struggling to receive such revela uh, such uh, principles no, na sometimes sa ating sarili na parang ang hirap sundin. But if you want to guide ourselves to the right path, kabalik sa karen ng ating ama sa langit, or even to those people who are around us, Let's obey the word of wisdom. Let's uh, let's follow the teachings or the the principle of the word of wisdom. Okay. Yung kanina sabi ko si Dieter uh, of Dorf sabi niya na kung uh, nandito ito sa ano eh, sa general conference ng April 2010. So sabi doon is continue in patience. The lessons we learn from patients will cultivate our character, lift our lives, and heighten, uh, heighten our happiness. 
and to continue, sabi niya, I remember when I was preparing to be trained as a fight, fighter pilot, we spent a great, great deal of our preliminary military training and physical exercise. I'm still not exactly sure why I why endless running was considered such an essential preparatory part of becoming a pilot. Nevertheless, we ran and we ran and we ran some more. And I was running, I began to notice something that frankly troubled me. Time and, time and again, I was being passed by men who smoked, drank, and did all manner of things that were contrary to the gospel, but in particular to the words of, word of wisdom. I remember thinking, wait a minute, aren't I supposed to be able to run and not be weary? But I was weary and I was overtaken by people who were definitely not following the word of wisdom. I confess, it troubled me at that time. I asked myself, was the promise true or was it not? Then uh, the, answer, the answer didn't come immediately. But eventually I learned that God's, God's promises are not always fulfilled as quickly as or in the way we might hope. They come accordingly to his timing and in his ways. Years later, I could see clear evidence of the temporal blessings that come to those who obey the word of wisdom. In addition to the spiritual blessings that come immediately from obedience to any of the God's laws, looking back, I know for sure that the promises of the Lord, if perhaps not always swift are always certain okay so those are his words uh sinabi niya no kasi nag yung nga nag na yung sa experience niya na bakit siya napapagod no kasi siya ay obedience naman sa sa world, sa world of wisdom but yung mga tao na sila yung sila yung mga kung tingnan natin no sila yung mga disobedient sila yung mga nagarilyo na ano pa yung mga tinitake nila pero sila yung hindi napapagod. So yun nga yung yun nga yung uh, sabi ni ni uh, President Dieter of uh, Ofdorf na kung ano ba ang nangyari baka hindi totoo yung yung promises. But uh, brethren and sisters, yung sabi niya na the it is it is in God's timing. So hindi hindi naman pwede na uh, uh, tayo o masunod eh kundi uh, it's it's all about the way is the ways of the lord you know kasi uh, hindi naman ganun ang ganun ang faith hindi naman ganun ang pananampalataya na na makikita sa ganun na paraan so time and time we will learn to understand that by obeying obedi, obeying the word of wisdom or by obedience to this laws uh, we come to know na tayo pala ay we have, have a greater knowledge or understanding or wisdom and we receive revelations para sa kabutihan ng ibang tao. So based on his experience, he he realized that those sabi niya, balikan natin yung sinabi niya no. Uh, years later I could see a clear evidence that, that the pearl blessings that come to those who obey the word of wisdom. In addition to the spiritual blessings that come immediately from obedience to the law uh, God's laws. Looking back, I know for sure that the promises of the Lord are perhaps not always swift or always certain. Okay? So, the Lord, what the Lord's promise, it is always His promise. Hindi naman niya, uh, ano yung kanyang promises, as long as we are obedient. But, for sure, sinusubukan tayo. No? So, uh, one, one of the, the surest thing kung bakit ginawa ng Panginoon ng word of wisdom in answer to that first question na nakita natin kanina why he is giving us some instruction is to help us understand kung ano ba ang importance sa ating katawan or to help us understand kung paano or kung ano ba ang importance kung ano ba kaimportante ang pagsunod sa mga kautusan niya o kagustuhan niya so it is always obedience So those principles as the first law of heaven. So kinakailangan nating ma maintindihan that the obedience is also a central part of uh, the plan of God. No? So kailangan natin kailangan natin maging masunurin. If we are not obedient, sure hindi naman siguro agad-agad na nandiyan ang results. But by and by we will realize 
na tayo pala ay napalayo sa katotohanan. And we come to know na hindi na tayo guided by the Holy Ghost. And as the promise, ang doctrine ng minutes, as the Lord promised, sabi dito, And all the saints who remember to keep those sayings walking in obedience to the commandments shall receive health in their navel and marrow to their bones, and shall find wisdom and great treasures of knowledge, even hidden treasures, shall, not, shall run and not be weary, shall walk and not faint. And I, the Lord, give unto them a promise that the destroying angel shall pass by them, as the children of Israel are not slain. Amen. So, based on uh, things that na natutunan natin, so I, 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 I think, I think it's it's very simple, no? Uh, yung ang katawan kasi natin is a temple of the. Holy Ghost of the Spirit, Holy Spirit, no, ong tinatawag natin na Spirit of the Lord, no. And if we are to say temple, so dapat malinis siya, dapat hindi hindi siya hindi siya tawag nito. Hindi siya by dungis or hindi inalagaan natin. Inalagaan natin yung yung kanyang katawan. So if I remember one time, nagawa ako ng vlog and I don't know if makita ko dito ngayon. And there's there's a blog that I created. Tinatawag siyang gluttony. No, gluttony the, or the sin of overconsuming. So, just visit muna inyo lang po yung blog if, if you have time. That's found in jerigustelio.blogspot.com and try to search yung word na gluttony. And may natutunan ako dito sa sabi ni sabi ni John Adams. Okay. Si Elton Perry. And uh, gusto kong basahin, no? Sabi dito, As a man soweth by Elder Elton Perry, si John Adams understood, understood the potential of righteous government when he's, he wrote, suppose a nation in some distant region should take the Bible for their own law book and every member should regulate his conduct by the precept, precepts they exhibit. Every member would be oblige, oblige, obligated in conscience to tem temperance and pro progality and industry, to justice and kindness and charity toward his fellow men and to pity, love, and revenge towards Almighty God. In this commonwealth, no man would impair his health with gluttony, drunkenness, or dust. No man would sacrifice his precious time to cards or any other trifling and mean and amusement. No man would steal or lie or in any way defraud his neighbor, but would live in peace and good with will, will with all men, and no man would blaspheme his maker of profane his worship. But a rational, a rational and manly, a sincere and unaffected pity and devotion would reign in all hearts. What a uh, utopia, what a paradise this region would be. From the beginning with the creation of the world, we have found order in the Lord's plan. Thousands of years of history have testified to a concern. Uh, consistency in his government as directed to a fear of mankind, just as assured, surely as John Adams. We know the result of temperance, progality, progality and industry when they are discovered in the action of man. Wealth, prosperity, and abundance are a sure reward of his effort. Justice, kindness, and charity always produce peace, love, and harmony. The result of gluttony, drunkenness, and lust are clearly predictable. They will surely destroy the temporal body. We also know of the effect of the weakened physical body on functions of the mind. The destructions, destruction of one clearly has the same effect on the other. The result of uh, stealing, lying, and defrauding are also absolute. We know the waste of such activity as they literally rob us of our inheritance. Okay? 
Ay, sorry, hindi ka hindi pala naka-share yung ano, yung video. But about anyway, I have read it. So, hindi ko na lang siguro. Eh. Hindi ko napansin hindi ko pala na-share. But uh, yan, uh, so check niyo na lang po sa sa blog and uh, igaw ay gawan ko na lang din po ng ng tawag nito, ng link itong video if ever. And nandiyan pala yung anak ko si Jasher. Hi ka Jasher, hi. Hi. <laughs> Well, anyway, so I know what I'm saying to you is true that the, the Lord, mahal niya tayo. Mahal niya ang lahat ng individuals, lalo na sa mga pamilya. And, but not just our spirit, also our physical body. So yung katawan natin is made, was made to be an example na para kung paano natin maging malagaan yung ating, ating uh, spiritual, spirituality. Ito ba yung aksa? Na, hindi pa ako natapos. Okay. So, I know that the teachings uh, the teachings of the church, teachings of the prophets, and uh, lalo na yung, uh, the word of wisdom, if we abide in those principles, I know that we will be guided and we will receive revelations and uh, even wisdom na para makatulong sa atin sa sa pag-guide sa atin spiritual. And what I'm saying to you is true and I leave this to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.